hello guys and welcome back to my channel today we're getting down and dirty we're actually going to be reorganizing and deep cleaning my bathroom i have been putting it off because i wanted to do it on a video with you guys so we can both get the motivation but um i can't put it off anymore because it is now a complete mess i'll show you guys what it looks like before we start but um we're gonna be doing a lot of deep cleaning a lot of organizing i hope you guys get all the motivation that you need if you're wanting to also clean up your bathroom or if you're wanting to deep clean any area in your home i hope this video is super motivating for you please don't forget to like and subscribe and if you're new to my channel welcome to the family i appreciate every one of you guys and let's get started because we have a lot to do today all right guys so kind of embarrassing but no shame i'm here to provide some motivation so i'm gonna show you guys my dirty bathroom this is gonna get a really deep clean <laughs> and the shelf on top of that i cannot remember when was the last time that i dusted this shelf so it's probably been i don't know over two months seriously no judging but there is a lot of oh my god these <laughs> and then i have to take these rugs and put them in the washer the sink area is not that bad as well as like the toilet i am not a dirty person so i try to disinfect those every day or every other day actually because we do have a child in the house so i do disinfect them often i just haven't cleaned like the mirror like i don't know if you're gonna be able to see but moving on to our shower okay this right here i haven't cleaned it for the past two weeks so i know it's dirty it doesn't look like it though but it is not clean it has like a lot of watermarks and it really needs a deep scrubbing so i'm gonna be scrubbing everything the doors it has a lot of hard water stains and you guys for the worst part we have this closet here and i have to reorganize all of this and make sure that all the laundry is done another area that we're gonna work on are these cabinets right here i have not reorganized this cabinet since we moved in here and they have become a complete mess i don't even know like half of the things that i have in there i know i have empty bottles in there and empty boxes and empty everything because i just keep buying things and sticking them in there and forgetting about it i organized the rest of the house but the bathroom i kind of just let it go there's everything everywhere so look at those those are so cute and i haven't even worn them because i think that i'm stuck in there um so i don't even get to see them so we're gonna go ahead fix all of this see what needs to be thrown away throw everything away so we're gonna declutter and organize let's get started I always start with our toilet area. I feel like it's the quickest area to get done and it motivates me to continue cleaning the rest of the bathroom. I'm taking everything out so that way I can give all the hard surfaces a really good wipe down. Since I disinfect the toilet on a daily basis, it's not a big job for me. It's just taking out the garbage and just wiping things down. On my deep cleaning days, I just do some scrubbing inside of the toilet and that's really about it. I like to use a disinfectant spray when I'm cleaning the bathroom though. And I like to use toilet paper and towel paper. I never use microfiber cloth or any type of cloth when I'm cleaning the bathroom, especially when I'm cleaning the toilet area, I would say because I don't want bacteria to just spread around. I don't want to have to wash that in my washer. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean the walls around the toilet. They do not look dirty, but it is a bathroom. So, I mean, you just never know. So I like to go ahead and get those clean, get our baseboards really clean and disinfected, and then we'll move on to scrubbing the toilet. the baseboard and the toilet are all clean and disinfected now so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this faux plan that I have sitting on that shelf in the bathroom and it can get pretty dusty and plus I like to go ahead and also disinfect it with the same method disinfecting spray and a towel paper 
just in case there is any bacteria on it since it is sitting right here in our toilet area i'm gonna make sure that i disinfect everything else too a huge reminder to dust your artwork if you haven't done it in a while disinfect your light switches and also i will be disinfecting our doors This is something that I only do on my deep cleaning days and honestly I don't even think about my light pictures as often as I probably should because they tend to get pretty dusty and every time I do it I'm so glad that I did it. Now I'm going to be working on the mirror and for that I'm going to be using this spray away glass cleaner. It is ammonia free and it gives me the best out of all the other products I've ever used the best streak free shine in my mirrors and the best clean like i don't have to really go over it so many times take a screenshot of it look for it and try it out you guys would thank me later Now moving on to this huge mess, I like to start by always taking everything out. I feel like if you don't take everything out and you work around what you have, you might miss things, you might not be able to clean certain things. It's so much better when we actually take the time to take everything out, give everything a really good wipe down and start fresh. Touch everything, see what you need, what you've been using, what you love. If you have products that are sitting there for over a year, then you're probably not going to use them. <laughs> I know that I did. I had so many empty bottles and so many products that I don't even use anymore. So I am getting rid of all of that and making space for new products that I would actually enjoy and I would actually want to use. I'm wiping down the products that I'm going to keep and organizing them as I go. If you're enjoying the video so far, go ahead and stop it real quick and hit the subscribe button. Make sure that you are subscribed so that way you get notified when I post a new video. I am always making motivational videos like this. I am always doing cleaning videos, organizing the house, decluttering, doing home projects. So if you like that type of content, then this is the channel for you. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button though so that way I don't disappear and then you don't see my videos anymore. the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before and i know that we're not perfect but i'm gonna miss all that we had let's take a quick look at the before so that way we can really appreciate the after and this is now the after you guys how much better is this i don't know about you guys but organized spaces really just put me in the right headspace 
they motivate me, they calm me down, they just make me so happy. This is just so satisfying to me. Now I have all of my lotions here displayed, me to be able to use them and see them, all of my hair products, everything is really clean and organized. It really makes me just so happy and this was so worth it. Now I'm gonna continue to do the same for the little drawers and then we'll move on to working on that linen closet. to last but all the fun times we had i'll never forget we will always share a bond no matter what cause you have a piece of my heart and i know that we're not perfect but i'm gonna miss all that we had yeah i know that we're not perfect but i need this night for the Dirty clothes are in the washer. This wasn't really that bad. It was just tidying everything and reorganizing some things. I had to just take a few things out of that little basket and declutter it. But really it wasn't a big job. I don't know why I had put it off for so long. I feel like sometimes the quickest jobs are the ones that we think about the least and they get a little messy because of that. But now I'm gonna move on to our shower. And this is really the worst job you guys and the one that I dread the most, the one that takes me the longest. So let's go ahead, take everything out of here, give everything a good wipe and then start scrubbing this shower. We watch the sun go down. Oh I'm using my method disinfecting spray but I'm also going to be using this Bone Amy powder cleaner. This stuff is amazing. It does all of the scrubbing for you plus it's non-toxic. It doesn't have any of the harsh chemicals so this will be perfect to use in a kid's bathroom. I know I love using it in Caleb's bathtub when I'm cleaning it and I don't have to worry about chemicals or anything like that. This will be also linked in the description box below. I do get it from Grove and I know when you first purchase from Grove you get a free gift and you get a lot in that gift so make sure that you take advantage of that and if you're looking for some natural like non-toxic cleaning products check that website because you'll be surprised at how many good things they have and also this powder is like a dollar something super inexpensive say you love me say you don't just give me something so I can move on Pull me closer Or push me away Let me know if We'll be okay Cause I can't stand another moment Of you playing with my mind I'm so tired Now we're giving the bathroom a little refresh and what better way to refresh a bathroom than to get a completely new shower system. I got this one from Gita Home. Gita Home is a wonderful company. They have high quality products. From home decor to light fixtures to shower systems, they have it all. I have quite a few products from them and everything that I have tried so far is very high quality. The box comes with everything that you need and as soon as I took it out, I loved it from the moment that I saw it because it looks a lot thinner and a lot more modern than the one that we have now. So I know it's gonna look great. We're gonna put it up there and I'm gonna show you guys how it works. Stay 
it has different settings that you can control here and the button is very easy to maneuver and I also love that the water pressure on this is very powerful which I appreciate for when I am cleaning the shower <laughs> and I also love that you can actually have both shower heads running at the same time I will show you here but you can have just one shower head running then you can click on to the other shower head which also has different settings on it which is really nice or you could just have both of them running at the same time for a spa like feeling. Gita Home was kind enough to give me a coupon code on top of the sale that they have going on already on the shower system. I think it's like 20% off plus the discount code that they created just for my subscribers. So that's gonna make it so affordable and it is so nice you guys take advantage while you can the discount code i think is only for like a few days the link will be in the description box below you guys know the drill let's move on to finish cleaning this bathroom so that way i can take a shower and relax And that is all for today's video guys thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments below if you liked today's video if it was motivating at all for you guys if you got a lot done or if you were just watching to get some motivation for later but i will see you guys in my next video don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to my channel to see more videos like this and i will see you guys in my next video bye